Raising the bar, about 12% of CCSD students are enrolled in some sort of special education. And in many cases, parents say public schools can't address the needs of those students. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan takes you inside a private school that's raising the bar when it comes to students who learn differently. Mr. York is working to build a rock band inside his classroom at the New Horizons Academy. While the sound is the same, the school has to take a different approach to teaching. They just feel more comfortable among people who also struggle. Listening. Listening. Many of the okay. students at the private nonprofit school are intelligent, but struggle with learning differences, with more than half of the students on the autism spectrum looking to blossom like this flower. We have the luxury of having a 45 minute class period dedicated to social skills. The kids on the autism spectrum uh, really need that as a skill. They lack that skill and they need some help. It's that special instruction and attention that helps students like Mary Clarich's daughter, Holly. It's just meant the world to us that Holly is able to come here and she's she's flourishing. Clarich says her daughter struggled in public schools because of class sizes and other issues. She's gone from a special needs diploma to a regular high school diploma is what she is in the future. <gasps> Sun. Part of that involves instructors working in smaller groups with the children and encouraging the students' interest wherever they may be. We're able to find the strengths and highlight those strengths, whereas as they struggle, when they struggle in a certain area, they're a little bit more motivated. Take that painting of the flower, for example. Clarich says it's an example of the art teacher nurturing her daughter, but also pushing her boundaries. Holly is She's an artist. Uh, she draws. She has a sketchbook. While the painting shows Holly's talent, what Clarich says it really shows is what the teachers have built with her daughter. She trusts them, and trust is very important. The principal says that trust is built through the efforts to balance the joy and frustration of the students with learning differences. Self-esteem is a big hindrance to learning. A lot of times, if they don't have that self-esteem, they don't have the will to try and also in preparing the students for jobs by doing mock interviews and teaching them how to turn what some may see as weaknesses into strengths. Kids on the autism spectrum, they are hyper-focused. They can stay at a job and do the same thing for 12 hours and not complain. Everybody else would get bored. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News, raising the bar. They sound good too, and the school offers its own scholarships and is in the process of raising funds so it can support more students. We have links with more information on our website at ktnv.com.